In this video we have hooked up with Håkan Spur, the founder and owner of Spur, a company that manufactures some really innovative and versatile scope mounts. Come along and see what we do on the shooting range today. Hello everyone! A couple of weeks ago I put up a video on my Instagram where I was shooting on a, with a secondary sight on my uh, rifle scope that I use for uh, stalking and uh, uh, deer and so on. And uh, there was a lot of interest for this uh, video and I, I got a lot of questions. I also, me myself, were become very fond of this shooting directly. Uh, I haven't had so much opportunity to use it out in the fields, but I really want to learn more about it. And that's why I today have met up with Håkan here at the shooting range in Malmö. And Håkan, you have a lot of experience uh, for this with secondary sites and so on. Yeah, that's correct. We, we, we started to develop this scope mount uh, about 10 years ago, uh, mainly for military use and for, for sporting purposes, uh, like, like target shooting and so on. And, and uh, those mounts have been very popular in, in amongst the long range crowd, also amongst the uh, IPSC or um, or tree gun shooters, um, and and uh, especially for tree gun and, and IPSC, the secondary sight is extremely popular. Uh, many times it's because we, we have a low magnified uh, scope, like in one four or one to six, and when we have the scope set at, for example, six power, and we suddenly have a target at, at 10, 15, 20 meters, the secondary sight is really, really useful. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the, very shortly, the background for secondary sight, is, is it military use or is it sport shooters that comes from or is it a mixed uh, background? Really no idea, I don't know. Yeah, uh, right. I, I, I think it's so mixed so I, I, I can't say, uh, I, I don't know. Yeah. Um, today we have mounted a secondary on, on my rifle here and uh, we have used your uh, uh, scope mount for uh, 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 for the sport shooters and the technical shooting, yeah, if I'm correct, that's correct. But you have uh, just recently released a series for hunters. Please uh, tell yeah. us about this. Uh, we are working on on a scope mount series for for hunting rifles. Uh, they are smaller, they weigh less, uh, they are slimmer, better looking. So we have made them for direct mount ticket trees. We have made them for, for Picatinny. We have also made uh, separate rings for blaster rifles and Saco Tika rifles. And there, there is a number of models that, that will be uh, introduced within shortly. Anyway, here is our uni mount mounted onto my ticket tree. Uh, it holds the Smith Bender scope and, and I have a Leica uh, red dot sight here. Yeah. And, um so what I also want to say that this is just until the hunting uh, mounts for uh, my rifle have uh, been released. Yeah. I have this. So if you see my, me in some further films here, this is just a uh, uh, temporary solution for, for me. Okay, and uh, today also you have brought a rifle you have when you are competing. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. I brought my, uh, my AR-15 and with the tactical mount sitting on the AR-15, this is basically the same kind of mount that that are you that we mount on on sniper rifles and so on. This is a cantilever mount that puts the scope more forward. But apart from that, everything is the same. So there is a lot of interfaces all around the scope mount. There are seven or eight interfaces, all depending on on the, the the scope mount model itself, where we can add things on. So here we added uh, an aim point sight five o'clock we could have added it half past two or we could have added it 12 o'clock or whatever some people they, they prefer to to add other things like flashlights lasers and so on but here we we, we added the, the red outside yeah very nice and uh Hokan, when it comes to this is sport shooting and uh, and uh, so on then they have different demands than us hunters when it comes to us hunters and the scope mounts you have developed for hunters specifically, uh, which kind of position do you think it's the most uh, common? Will be the most common for sport uh, for hunters to I, mount it. I think either the, the twelve o'clock position, like it is here now, or it's three o'clock position, 
Um, I prefer both depending on what I will use it for. And this ring can actually be turned around 90, no, sorry, 180 degree, and then we got the interface on the side. We also make rings with dual interfaces. So there is one interface 12 o'clock and one 3 o'clock. So you can use either way. Yeah, very interesting. And for me, when we uh, tested it out in your workshop, uh, because I have never used it, I choose to mount it 3 o'clock because I uh, think it felt nicest when I tried it out. But of course, I will try this out on the shooting range and out in the uh, forest hunting because you can never evaluate something unless you have used it so uh, and different hunters will probably like it in different places. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the point about having it on the side like three o'clock or five o'clock or, or whatever you, you meant it there is that you basically keep your cheek well and just rotate the rifle uh, for five degree left and you just aim through the red outside so that's very simple. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I think we will shoot and have some fun before we go home today yeah and uh, you guys I hope you enjoy this little clip and your the short uh, information about this and uh, maybe we will meet together here on the shooting range another day for another clip good yeah if you like our videos do not hesitate to hit the subscribe button it means a lot to us if you support us by subscribing to our channel